Mission RV Services. So you might be asking your question, Drew, why are you laying on the floor? Well, that's because rainy days and Mondays always get me down. But seriously, today we're looking at a liquid propane detector. And the customer complaint today is, why is my liquid propane detector going off when I don't even have propane on? And that's a very good question. So a couple things we look at on here. First of all, you wonder why is this so always so low to the floor? It should be roughly about five to six inches off the floor level. And on this particular one, this is a newer unit. And at the moment it has a green light, so it's got good indication on it or a good indicator. Uh, but randomly it has been going off on them. So the reason we're down here on the floor next to this is because, well, liquid propane weighs more than air. So the reason these are by the floor is when the propane, if it's leaking, will come down to this level, and then that would set the propane detector off. But in a case where the propane's not even on, and, in, and this rig is empty, so there really is no propane running through here, even if it was open, uh, we do have other reasons this could go off. One is low batteries. So say your coach or your travel trailer has a low battery, this will start indicating as a warning saying, hey, you have a low battery, you better address this situation before it becomes a problem because we wanna make sure that you have the proper safety device. So this, this safety device is telling you that not only is there potentially a propane issue, but you could have a low battery issue which could, which could cause this not to function properly. This does run on 12 volts. So if your coach or trailer battery is low, too low, then this will start going off. Um, but today, that isn't the case on this. So it's not a propane issue, and it's not a battery issue. So what else could it be? Well, these little detectors usually pick up like a, like a methane-type gas or a liquid propane-type gas. Think of gases that end in like butane or methylene. Accelerants from hairsprays, certain types of hairsprays can cause these to go off. So if somebody's getting their hair did and they're in the, the closest bathroom to this or in the hallway or something, that could set this off. But again, that wasn't the case here. Today's case is, is that this detector is right across from a shower that's not used. So this particular rig has two bathrooms in it and the shower is used as storage in the front bathroom, which is right next to this detector. So the reason I'm down here on the floor is, is because, whew, let me tell you, I got a whiff as soon as I laid down here because there is a biological odor, which is creating a gas, a biological gas that is floating over here from this shower stall that is causing this to go off. It's from the gray tank. And you might say, oof, why is my gray tank doing that? I'd expect that from my black tank, but biological food waste in our gray tanks can sometimes be way more stinky than anything that comes out of a black tank. Um, those who have been around RVs long enough know that that is a fact. So this particular trap on the shower is dried out because they don't use the shower. So that gas is seeping back up through the drain pan on the shower coming out here and being low like this, laying on the floor on a rainy day and a Monday, we can smell that, hey, we have a trap issue. So my next step is pour some water down into that trap, get that sealed back up because this particular shower has a horizontal trap with a flap in it. That flap is now dried up and it needs that water to kind of reseal it again to keep those gases from coming back in. So if you use your shower for storage, like this particular customer does, it's always a good idea to make sure at least once every couple of weeks, pour a little bit of water down there, keep that trap full and lubricated, and that'll help keep those gases out. Another thing you could check too is under your sinks, you have a another type of a trap in there that could also let gases out. Those could fail. The gases come up, they get low to the ground because they're heavier than the air and they'll set this old LP detector off. So in essence, just because the LP detector goes off, it's not always telling you you have a propane issue. It could be telling you you have a propane issue. You could have some other biological gas going on. It could be from 
hairsprays or anything with an accelerant, an artificial accelerant like that. Or it could be because you just have dry sewer traps on your gray tank. If you found this video helpful, why don't you click that subscribe button for us and hit the old notification bell. And give this video a like because hopefully it'll help somebody else down the road too. Until next time, this is Drew with Mission RV Services. Bye everybody.